Live television. <laughs> yes, Very yeah. good. Wait, do, you, do you know what Iron Brew is? That, that no. film we've just done, it's a Scottish drink. Uh -huh. yes. And that's it there. That's you can it. see it's a very natural, lovely colour. Have, Have a, a taste. taste see what you think. All right. Go for it. It's this very is, natural, as you is, can see okay, by the colour. Is, okay, go on. It's not just a Scottish drink, it is the, it's the Scottish, Scottish drink. drink. Oh, it's not bad, is it? That's kind of delightful, yeah. Well, they're changing, <laughs> they're changing the recipe. Mm. <laughs> Why? What we saw there, that fans of this drink, Iron Brew, are really putting up a fight because they like the original. Uh -huh. But in the film, when they tested it, people couldn't really tell the difference. They probably haven't got a problem on their hands, really. But have other brands successfully changed recipe? Some have and some haven't. I think it's the public. We just don't want to be told what to do, do no, we? We don't like no change. Tell Harry. us that we're cutting no. down on sugar, even if it's bad for us. So, for instance, Nestle with their Milky Bar, they upped the milk. So there's now a third of the content. Over a third of the content is now milk, and sugar's gone down. Similarly with Kit Kat, they've done the same. Now it seems like we haven't been that bothered about those brands. However, back in 2015, Cadbury's Cream Eggs changed the shell from dairy milk to some other recipe oh. and sales of their Easter lines went down by 10 yeah. million yeah. pounds but they insisted it wasn't because of a recipe change but we don't like change. Lucozade, now this is an interesting one because it's quite similar I think to Iron Brew. Lucozade yeah. in 2016 they reduced their sugar can content so it was within the range that it's meant to be. 10,000 people signed a, a petition saying they did not want the change. <laughs> wow. Now it's really on Twitter this is brilliant people were saying What's happened to Orange Lucasade? It tastes like bleach. Completely <laughs> different drink to what it used to be, real shame. And then somebody else said, it's on Twitter again, I've literally drank Lucasade Orange every day for as long as I can remember. This change in recipe is a personal attack. <laughs> 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 so we don't want this change. Uh, but the next big challenge for that company is Ribena. So Bina? They, yeah, oh, not the Ribena. Ribena. Well, they've had literally hundreds of different versions of this drink trying to get this sugary uh, version right. So it's down on the sugar but still got sugar in it. They're super tasters mm. who are in their factories. They've got to a point where they can't tell the difference now. But... We will be the judge of that because the public in a couple of months will be able to see. All right. Well, could look, be another Brian. This, this is a misnomer because there's neither iron nor a brew in, in <laughs> part That's of this. Brewed. That's brewed. This is That's brewed? brewed in Scotland. Yeah. This is actually brewed in Scotland. Yeah. And no. made with garters. I don't think it's <laughs> garters. It's, it's not brewed a, with garters. I don't. I don't think this is brewed. This is uh, this is uh, fermented. <laughs> What brands aren't they changing then? So, I aren't going to listen to the. To well, this, at the this whole moment, Coca Cola is not changing. Well, they made a bit of a faux pas, didn't they? Oh, I right. remember. It is, wasn't Do you yeah. remember this? Back Have they in changed 1985. The recipe? With, yeah, with Coke. Zero? Yeah. No, 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 no. The no. normal one, they changed it. Oh. And it lasted, I mean, it wasn't just the sugar, they just changed the recipe. And for 79 days, they held their ground and then they gave up because there were so many people that said, we're not drinking it. Yeah. So they are, the moment, for the of course, they, they do, they've got lots of zero stuff and low calorie stuff. So they do have other choices. They're saying that they are considering changing the size of the cans and the bottles. So right. that's how they will. So you consume yeah. less by yeah. Yeah. drinking exactly. less. Well, Cheers, yeah. Carrie. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you love the Iron Brew, Brian. Hey, have, you, <laughs> have you dabbled with any other sort of UK, British traditions like builder's tea? I mean, have you done that yet? I don't know what builder's tea builder's is. Builder's tea is, is it's the only best for construction type of tea. workers. Strong tea. Yeah. Strong tea. With first, a dash I of like milk. strong. I like okay. strong coffee. I like strong Fish tea. Fish and chips? I, yes, fish and chips. There's a there's mm. a place right near the hotel I stayed at for when we were uh, rehearsing the play. That yeah. was quite good. Because you've been here, how long have you been here now? Since, um, since 1902. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since, since late September. Yeah, so you do a network, aren't you, at the National Theatre? Network Theater. at the National Theatre, yeah. yeah. And have you had a chance to see any other parts of the UK apart from London? I've seen the rehearsal rooms <laughs> oh, no. and the stage. Um, when I rehearse and, and get and get a show up on its feet, I, I really live a, a very uh, hermetic life. You have to. You, know? you absolutely I, have I really to. do. It's like I go home and I work and I go to work and I work. And But now, see, my wife is coming over. We're going to have two and a half to three months here. And uh, we're going to see, we'll catch up on our plays and museums and do all the stuff. Well, we'll plan a route for you, Brian, after you the did. show. <laughs> we'll do Wales and then up to Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, beautiful Northern Ireland. Beautiful. I mean, we've got it all sorted. I wooed my, this, my wife.
Yeah. This wife on a three. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Mrs. Cranston. Yes. Uh, this which one <laughs> was this? No, this is the fourth. No. Um, uh, at uh, she was doing a, a semester at Oxford. Uh, and I went up there, and I went in and I punted, I rented a punt on the Thames, and I, wow. I was out there with the, the pose, and I pushed down, and I didn't understand no. the, how <laughs> this goes, and all of a sudden I went, I guess I have to lift the, and I lifted up the pole and the muck and ah. mire, and water okay. starts cascading down on me, and I, and I knew it was wrong, <laughs> and yet I couldn't, I went, oh, this is bad, and I hear some guy drinking a pint on the bridge goes, Use Ezra, yank! <laughs> I went, what? Use Ezra! And I went, I, I, I'm sorry. And then he slowed down. Use it as a rudder. <laughs> and I went, use it as a rudder. <laughs> and then, of course, then you just. Uh, and, but I was full of yeah. mud. But she still married you. And look. she still yeah. sat like yeah. this. So. She still married me. Yeah. She did. <laughs> well, Brian's new film, Last Flag Flying, is set in 2003. He plays Sal, a Vietnam vet, who is reunited with two of his friends from the war. It's a heartwarming story about a very serious subject, but it's also really, really funny.